Hello and welcome to Podiatry Practice Mastery. Um, I'm going to go over a few things this week. Um, last week I talked a little bit about uh, my patient that asked me, doctor, can you take a look at my stool? Uh, if you want to watch the video, I uploaded it to my YouTube. Uh, the tech list, I'm going to go over Google Slides, how they are really my secret hack about doing everything. If you want to learn how I do that, it's in day three of the 30-day practice blueprint. I'm going to talk about an interview with Breakthrough and the one great idea uh, that I took from them. And I want to show you kind of how they orchestrate this workshop idea. I was talking, uh, we have a little uh, mastermind amongst uh, a few doctors. And this was something that a, a doctor wrote up on how he explains regenerative treatments. I'd like to share this with you because it might help you with your uh, wording. I'm going to tell you a little bit about a podcast about getting more no's when you're offering things. And then I'm offering a, a master class coming up on ultrasound and there'll be some information on that as well for you. And then what didn't work basically is too many options and then going for no. And I want to explain how I do that these days. So let's, let's get into it. This is the thumbnail. This was a, uh, a patient of mine, my staff called uh, the day before, and he brought in this uh, fake poop and that he, um, yeah, kind of duped me and I didn't even think of it. So if you want to watch the video of him actually duping me and me kind of narrating it, you can uh, click the link underneath this video. Uh, this is uh, the idea of Google Slides. I use Google Slides pretty much every single day for multiple things. And I, I, I think you should too. And it's really easy when you can log into your computer and then log into whatever slides you're using. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit. Actually, let me just stop it here and show you exactly how I do it. So I don't, I sometimes I think I'm going to show you guys stuff and I forget. Uh, Google Slides right here. I have the links up top and you can see here, you're not seeing it because it, it's kind of hiding it. But let me give you an example. So when someone comes in for plantar fasciitis, what I'll do is I actually pull up the slides from up top and it pulls in the slide deck. Now, if you want this same slide deck, you can get it from uh, day number three in the 30 day practice blueprint. And then I just show full screen and I go through it with my patients. Uh, the latest rendition that's really been a practice changer is, is um, well, there's a few things I'll go over. These are the main questions I ask patients. This talks about uh, its relationship to Achilles tendonitis and plantar fasciitis. This is something I call a dysfunction symptom index. Um, I talk about ultrasounds. And speaking about ultrasound, this is how I tell everyone about ultrasounds. And I always say the next visit, we'll get an ultrasound. That's why I, I do so many ultrasounds. Uh, and then we talk about how long it takes to get better, putting expectations, the process. But this is really the, the main difference recently has been changing from using this slide to changing from using this slide. And I got this idea from listening to someone else's podcast. But basically what I used to do is I used to say, hey, you have all of these ideas and all these treatments, and this makes my patients better. But this is a little overwhelming. And what I tried to do is I kept the same categories, but I, I put it in terms of effectiveness. So I put in what's most effective to least effective. And then I always tell people, you know, I'm going to share with you what's most effective, and you can make your own decision based on the information. So I always share what's most effective, you know, less effective, less effective. This is just my opinion, and based somewhat, somewhat on some research from these ACFAS articles like that, the one on plantar fasciitis. But this actually lets me offer to all of them shockwave and then amnio, and then from there down cortisone and oral uh, oral steroids and things like that. So it's, it's getting me a lot more no's because they're saying, you know, I can't do that, but I can do, let's say, an orthotic or something else like that. So that's how I do it um, with uh, the Google Slides. So I hope that's helpful. If you want to learn more, like my whole thoughts, there is a, um, on day three of the 30-day practice blueprint, or there is a course as well on it. This is um, the gentleman that interviewed me. Chad is a really great marketer. He has, uh, I, I believe, six or more physical therapy practices, and he had he's part of something called Get Breakthrough. Now, for some reason, when I copied this from um, iTunes, it pulled it up in German. I'm not sure why. Maybe I was searching something in German on Shockwave, and it pulled in the preference to German, uh, and I don't know how to change it back. So if you know how to do that, let me know. But I talked to him in this interview, and I'll put a link underneath here in the, in the description about using patient education. And I share kind of the whole backstory to, to doing that and some of my, my best tips. And then he shared some of his best tips. And that's what I'm going to share with you. Um, so his, this is actually, he used something called grain to record them. 
and it has a transcript and everything else. So it's kind of a cool way to get um, transcripts and everything else like that. Now, let me let me share this idea. So this is the one idea I took away from him. We used to do, or we do these um, webinars. And I've told you guys about the webinars during the pandemic. We did the webinars. We had a lot of people. What I really appreciate what Chad has done is basically he's called these workshops. And he has like three workshops. So what are these three? These are the three main things that you like to see. So for example, for me, it would be like a heel pain one. We talk about Achilles tendonitis and plantar fasciitis. And then maybe like a forefoot pain one. And then maybe one on nails, like ingrown and ugly toenails or something like that. Getting three workshops. So when you click on the website, the workshop button, this is where you're, you're sending people. These aren't for your current patients. These are for all new patients that you're doing via like uh, Facebook ads and, and Google AdWords and stuff like that. It goes to this thing. This is called a squeeze page. And it has a couple of cool things I want to I want to mention. So the first thing is, do you want to see someone sooner? Just click to schedule an appointment. That's great. So they might get information that it's sent there, but they really don't want to wait until uh, March 19th to do this. They want to see you sooner. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing is it talks about a heel pain workshop. Okay, how to do it. Here's a little like one minute video talking about what they're going to go over. And this is a register button. So when you click this thing, or if you click away from the page, it's going to pull up this. So basically enter your, your info below to register for the workshop. Name, email, telephone number, allowing me to do a pre-recorded message, SMS, things like that, all this thing. So this is how they register for it. And then you send them like spaced out information. Now, I like this. I think this is great. This is what they do. This is how they grow the practices. I think this is awesome. I was just thinking of a, a simpler way of doing it. Um, and this is my thought. My thought is using, this is actually Chad's breakthrough. When I interviewed, I had to sign up right here, but you could do the same thing with Calendly. And this is the same way I do the webinars. You could put like, let's say once a month on Tuesday, they can sign up for that webinar. Once it gets to 20 people, you might open up a different date. Okay. So you want to fill one and once one's filled, then you can open up the other dates. That's kind of the idea. You pick a time and you have information right here. The nice thing about this is you don't have to keep constantly updating that website. You make it once in Calendly and it just kind of keeps repeating and it only has certain parameters. Like it only opens up 30 days in advance. So once one's filled, then you add another one and you can do all your marketing towards this. Another thing you can also do it if you don't want to do just live. I think the biggest bang is doing it live. But if you want to do it not live, you could do a recorded one as well, like a invitation to watch it recorded. Same thing, but probably not the best thing. This is this is to get people in your office, like 20 people, all new patients, all for heel pain or forefoot pain or something else like that. Okay. I think this, this is like a million dollar idea. If you guys take this one thing and just do one, I think it's going to really help your practice. And then you have to figure out like what follow-up sequence. The nice thing about Calendly is it does text messages and it does a whole follow-up sequence as well. Um, let me go into this wording that this other doctor gave me. So I was talking about how do you word like Leneva and Amnio and things like that with your patients. So I tend to do it with my, that, that patient presentation, that one page that I showed you, but this is what he wrote me. And I just want to share, there's some great pearls here. So he says, here's how I approach regenerative therapies. I give each patient the treatment option. So the same thing with that treatment option page that I just showed you that we have for the specific diagnosis. Okay. Same thing I do. For instance, a pre-ulcerative callus or a site with a previous ulceration with regards to Leneva and those with a history of ulceration, I basically tell them we can treat their issue inside their shoe with an orthotic and offloading. That's typically not their issue. It's standing in the shower and walking to the bathroom. And I tell them that something like Leneva will help replace the natural fatty pillow that can be used to have and to help prevent recurrence of the, of the forfeit ulcer while being barefoot. I always uh, and mean, mean to ask them, does that make sense to you? Okay. And he always says, I always, and mean always ask them, does this make sense? So if you can get one thing from this slide, when you explain orthotics, when you explain amnio, when you explain shockwave, does that make sense to you? Okay. Don't say how much it is. Don't say other things like that. Say, does this make sense? Okay. They need to, it means to make sense. If not, you need to explain it more. Okay. That's the number one thing, take away. Does that make sense to you? Write that down, put it in your little notebook. Okay. Second thing is, then the magic question comes up, is it covered? And I explained to them that regenerative therapies are never covered, but they offer a solution. So does that make sense? No, it's not covered, but this is a solution. Okay. Everyone wants a solution. Next question, how much? And I tell them exactly what we charge. So um, he charges 900, I charge 1500 
for Amnio and for those things, he charges less. I'm not sure it might be the vendor or something else like that. And um, I don't try to sell them, okay? We never sell, we just tell them, okay? When they object to the price, we redirect them saying, does this make sense to you though? Okay, they talk about the price, does this make sense? Instead of talking price, you talk, um, does this make sense? And they almost always say, yes, it does. And I say, don't let the cost of the therapy deter, deter you. Um, we can figure out the money up front, meaning care credit or something else like that. We make it as easy as for them as possible. And usually when we say that we can figure out the financial thing out for you, they can they they convert or they want to do it. Bottom line uh, is that you have to believe in your therapy. I totally agree that you can't do something you don't believe in. There are certain things in the past I've tried to do that I didn't really believe in and you can't do it. If you think it's unethical or the wrong thing for your patient, it has to be the right thing for the patient. If this service will benefit, once again, benefit the patient and allow them to get back to doing the things they love and as pain-free and quickly, the cost isn't usually an issue. So what are you going to take away from this? Okay. Does this make sense? Okay. And um, I'm going to, these are, they're never covered, right? And uh, we tell them what we charge. And when they object, say, does this make sense? And then have staff kind of go over the pricing. So that was great. Okay. So take that away. Um, last thing I, I watched, um, uh, Dr. TJ on, he's got a, a great podcast on, um, go for no, I'll put a little link underneath it. I really admire his work and he had a great podcast on, on go for no. There's a, a real easy read on Amazon from Andrea. Um, I would recommend getting it. Now, how did this change my practice? So it changed my practice from offering all these options. Okay. In my slides to offering what's most effective first. That's all it changed. And it's made all the difference. Because for example, I had a patient in today and um, she couldn't do the shockwave or the amnio. She did the cortisone, but then she did physical therapy and she wanted the orthotics. So I find that patients, they'll tend to do two out of three of the top line. Okay. And some will do, they want the best for everything. This is just my opinion. You can make your own slides. And that's how I made up the, the, the patient presentations. Okay. Uh, lastly, I'm going to go over a, a master class on diagnostic ultrasound. Um, I'd like you guys to sign up and um, give me your questions. What questions you have about, I'm not going to talk technical, like teaching how to do it. I want to talk about like how to explain it, how to, without being salesy, without being pushy, when you use it, things like that. I'm going to be going over some of those details. So please send me any questions you have, like, why aren't you using it? Um, or why aren't you using it more? What's what's the concern? Is it not convenient? Do you not know how to read it? Do you not like it? And I'm going to go over some of my best tips. And then on the other tips, you guys other tips too, uh, please uh, share them with me uh, for this next uh, ultrasound masterclass. Okay. Um, I think I, I think I showed you guys these things. These are my slides. This is their actual website where they talk about the workshops they have. And they have three of them, heel pain, rotator cuff, and back pain. So for us, it could be heel pain, uh, foot pain, and then, I don't know, nail, things, whatever you want. Pick the three, and those are the three workshops you do on a rotating basis. Um, once you click it, it actually goes to this one. And then uh, from this, they can either register, which is that pop-up, or they can make an appointment, which is, goes to another pop-up, basically. And it's all the same. And so it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to send an email to your staff on how to do that. I'm actually having that made on my site now. I paid someone, once again, how I do things. I paid someone on Fiverr $125 to set up these two pages, this thing, for me, and and I'm going to practice doing it both with webinars and live events. Um, this is the the podcast we talked about from Chad's podcast. I'll put a, li a little link underneath it. Um, this is something how to host a, a, a workshop in your office. So I'll put a little link to this article as I was researching about it. And this is uh, TJ On's article, and this is that master class. Um, just kind of some of the things I'm working on, talking about uh, block timing, pre-framing patients do after the first visit, using injections, talking about the money, paying online, pictures with phones and making documentation easy, and then answering any questions that you have. And I, afterwards, I'm going to be giving you guys my ultrasound presentation and as well, uh, the documentation of how I document it as a bonus. Okay. Once again, I'll, I'll tell you that uh, date in the future or underneath this. Okay. Once again, hope you guys found this beneficial uh, until, until next